Hello guys, welcome back to Driving TV. In today's video, I have for you guys prepared a study guide with the top 50 questions that are gonna be on your written driving examination. These are the questions that you need to know. Absolutely need to study, know, and just be prepared for because they will be on your written driving examination. Now this test has questions and answers just to help you practice and see where you're at with uh, the knowledge. So really hope that you guys enjoy this. If you do enjoy it, make sure to leave your comment below with your feedback. I'm always reading your comments that I really appreciate it. Also a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because I will be posting a lot more video. That being said, let's get started. If you approach a traffic control intersection and the traffic light has flashing yellow lights, you must proceed with caution. An octagon shaped traffic sign is always a stop stop sign. A double continuous yellow line painted in the center of the road always means that Vehicles moving in any direction must not pass or cross these lines. Which of these lane signs indicate that you can use this lane? Hmm. Hopefully you guys picked C. A yellow diamond shaped traffic sign always means general warning, warning of unexpected road conditions. When a traffic control light turns red, you should Stop your vehicle completely at the stop line. Remain stopped until the light turns green. A simple broken white line in the center of the road means that vehicles are moving in the same direction and you may cross this line to change lanes when it is safe to do so. If you approach an intersection with the intention of turning left with a green arrow, but it suddenly changes to yellow arrow, drivers traveling in this direction of the arrow should Stop if you can because the arrow soon will change to red. This traffic sign means railroad crossing ahead. How far should you stop your car from a railroad crossing if the warning devices are flashing? Fifty feet. Of the traffic signs below shown, which one indicates that there is a school zone ahead? C. A dashed yellow line in the center of a road means
that vehicles move in opposite directions. When driving on a main avenue, if you intend to turn right on a green light, you should know that. You should approach at a speed that should allow you to slow down if the traffic light changes. Of these traffic signs, which one tells me that a narrow bridge is approaching ahead? Yeah, A. Which sign indicates divided highway beginning? C. Signs painted red are signs of? Stop, do not enter. Wrong way and yield. If you want to turn left on a green light, you must yield to vehicles coming from the opposite directions and pass when it is safe. Of the following signs, which one indicates the divided highway that ends. B. When approaching an intersection with a flashing red light, you should Stop behind the pedestrian line and proceed if clear. No overtaking. You're entering an area where passing other vehicles is prohibited. Which of the signs indicates this regulation? C would be the correct answer. Give way ahead. You must reduce your speed and give the right of way to other vehicles. Which of them does this meaning belong to? C is the correct answer. When you drive in the right lane of a highway, if you see this traffic sign on your right, it means merging traffic. But you must know that you are approaching a point where another lane of traffic merges with yours. Be prepared to yield when necessary. Which of these signs indicates a zigzag road? There are several curves ahead. Drive slowly and do not pass other vehicles. Windy road. Which of these signs indicate a zigzag road? These are. Which of these signs indicates a zigzag road? There are several curves ahead. Drive slowly and do not pass other vehicles. correct answer is C. Driving in the right lane of a main avenue with the intention of turning right on a green light, you must Slow down, turn on your flashing lights and check for cyclists or pedestrians crossing. 
indicate which is the correct sign. Zigzag road. There are several curves ahead. Drive slowly and do not pass other vehicles. Again, this is the correct answer. Identify the following signal. Narrow bridge. I hope you guys remembered this one. Parking only with a disabled permit. Which of these signs indicates the above? Yes, this is the correct answer. Name the following traffic sign. Obligation to turn. You can continue forward. You must turn right or left. Which of these signs does it belong to? Do not turn on red. You should not turn right while the red light is on. You must wait for the green light. I really hope that you guys got this one right. When you drive through an area posted with the presence of animals, if you see an animal on the right of the road, you do what? You reduce your speed to be prepared to stop in case the animal wants to cross the road. hill and slope. The road descends ahead. Reduce speed and be prepared to downshift to control speed. Which of these signs indicates the above? That is correct. Soft shoulder. The ground next to the road is soft. Do not leave the pavement except in an emergency. Which of these is the correct signal? Yes, this is the correct answer. You must slow down and give the right of way to vehicles crossing the intersection on your right. If the path is clear, you can move forward slowly without stopping. That would be yield. Four-way traffic must stop. Vehicles proceed through the intersection in the order in which they arrive at. To which does this signal belong? Four-way arrest. Identify this sign. Do not make a U-turn. You should not make a full turn to go the opposite direction when this sign is present. That is correct. This sign indicates the maximum speed safe speed for an exit ramp on a highway. Reduce speed to the indicated speed. Which one does it belong to? Yes, that is correct. Orange traffic signs are always construction signs on the road. One lane bridge. The bridge is wide enough for, wo for one vehicle at a time. Make sure the bridge is clear of opposing traffic before crossing it. Which one does it belong to? Yes, that is correct.
You can turn left on a red light when traveling on a one-way road to. Another one way. You can turn left, preferably with C is the correct answer. Central turning lane. The central lane is shared for left turns, left in both directions of traffic. Which of the following signs? Does it belong to? A is the correct answer. Triangle shaped signs are always signs of yield. Which of these signs tells us do not turn? You cannot turn right or left at this intersection. B is the correct answer. Of these traffic signs that appear, which one tells you two-way traffic ahead? C is the correct answer. This red circular sign tells us the obvious, do not enter. And if you got this one wrong, please exit the video immediately. <laughs> when approaching a railway signal with the flashing lights and the barrier low lowering, we must stop our vehicle at a distance of Fifty feet from the nearest railroad track, you have stopped on a red light at an intersection. When the light turns green, you should only move forward. The intersection is clear, and you must yield to vehicles and pedestrians crossing the intersection. That is when you may move forward. What does this traffic sign mean? Slippery road ahead. What does this traffic sign mean? Reduction of lanes ahead. Which of these signs indicates not to turn right? Yes, the correct answer is C. When you see this traffic sign, you are going in the opposite direction. Do not go beyond this sign. Turn immediately. Wrong way, yes. When you look at this traffic sign, there is a low area on the road. Move forward slowly and be prepared to stop and avoid the area if it is full of water. A is the correct answer.